Just had um, one fish already. I was literally hadn't even set up, and um, I was just cast under there, under that bridge, under this arch, just to see if my lure was working and you know everything was okay. And literally, as soon as I hit the water, it was it was taken. I thought I hit, hit a snag straight away, but uh, no, it was actually a fish. I would set the camera up back of the car because I just had a bit of a run in with the bailiff as well. He started screaming at me in the street. I gave him a, gave him a piece of my mind. So we're on Ricky the Roach today. Nice action as you can see. The colour's starting to disappear from the water now, which is great. So we're back on the lure fishing down in the river. Look at the action. I've got a lovely um, glass rattle in the tail of this one as well. You can get it. I think rattles definitely make a difference. Especially when um, visibility is uh, slightly reduced like it is today. There's actually quite a few of these larches. I think I'm going to try and just explore, explore them. There's a few along there, you can see another three. I had a look in there uh, as I was walking past. And I'm definitely interested to have a, an exploratory cast or two down there. And the problem is it's quite hard to get right to the edge because of all the um, this kind of boggy, boggy area here. So I'll get, get in as far as I can and uh, see what happens. snags. I'm back on the gunky trooper today, 10 to 40 grams, 30 pound braid, 90 pound fluorocarbon leader. This one's probably the trickiest to get to. Morning. Literally first cast, straight over there. Instant bite. Insta bite. Let's see if there's no more dads around. You can see why they uh, hang around here. I mean, it's really sheltered from the uh, current. Got a lovely action to it, this lure. Absolutely lovely. Let's see if we can get into this boggy area without it's sinking. Here we go. <coughs> okay. 
Come on, Mr. Pike. He must be in there. It's the big one. And you can feel your lure vibrating in the water like I can with this. You know it's doing the job. Well, this lure is pretty heavy. I uh, can't remember the exact weight of this lure. Uh, somewhere between 20 and 40 grams. Uh, I'll look it up in a minute. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, especially getting a fish first cast. So it obviously works. Uh, we're rigged up to a, uh, a 10 gram jig head on a size, I uh, can't remember the exact size hook, but I'll put it up on the screen. It's pretty big. And I slammed it into the wall then. Okay, this is Ricky the Roach. Uh, it's incredibly realistic. Incredibly realistic. Very, very well made lure. Uh, all down to the detail on the fins, the eyes. Uh, beautifully made. Um, I can't remember if it comes with an actual uh, rattle hole pre made or if I made that myself. I'll double check that. Yeah, a lot of people, they uh, like to rig their soft plastics on uh, shallow, shallow rig them, which is good, you know, uh, well, no, absolutely no problem with that. Uh, personally, I generally go with a uh, jig head, uh, if I can, uh, with a single hook, hook point. I just find that's slightly kinder to the fish, uh, less chance of uh, catching the gill rakers and having lots of blood everywhere. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's a really, really nicely made lure. Uh, fits really well onto this jig head. Uh, it was really easy to um, to rig. Uh, no problems at all. Um, got a lovely, lovely flash. Nice and shiny. And that tail pushes a lot of water. And um, I've got the rattle in there as well. But yeah, nice lure. Right, one last cast here. Oh, I love how it feels in the water, like a blah, 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 blah. like a throbbing, throbbing sensation. <laughs> it's got a wonderful, wonderful action in the water. Uh, the fish obviously love it. Uh, it's nice and shiny. Get lots of flash, lots of vibration. A lovely pulsing, pulsing action, like a pulse tail. So it's a pretty good casting lure, but I put that down to the weight of the thing rather than its aerodynamic. Uh, structure. My theory is that uh, when the water is seriously, seriously coloured, um, a lot of pike essentially hibernate or just find a little hole to wait it out. Uh, if that theory is correct, then when the conditions improve, they're going to be really underfed, looking to uh, get back on the feed as quickly as possible. Yeah, not particularly aerodynamic, uh, but it casts okay uh, purely by the weight of it. Now actually with the, um, the way it skips so easily you can really use that uh, to your advantage by skipping it under overhanging branches. And bushes really kind of try and get into those little ambush holes. It's 
this? This. This one. You ready? Thank you. Go on then. <laughs> he loves his ball. Okay, so the, um, the way I'm fishing this lure today is basically just casting it out, trying to um, take advantage of that uh, skipping action that the lure has. So every time it strikes the water, it kind of bounces and goes on an extra foot or so. So I'm trying to take advantage of that to uh, try and um, sneak it under tree branches and bushes and then on the retrieve okay, once you've got the lure where you want it to be uh, give it a bit of a tug tug with a rod or turn of the reel handle just to get um, a bit of action and announce its presence in the water and then just back off a little bit let it sink and give it you know, another tug with a rod or another few turns of the reel handle uh, pause just to let it sink and then continue uh, just doing that so quick retrieve pause quick retrieve pause and then just bury it up, sometimes quick, sometimes slow, but essentially retrieve, pause, retrieve, pause. <laughs> no problem. So we're here at a brand new location this morning. Never fished here before. It's a drain local to my abode where I live. Here we go, first cast. Learn my lesson. Camera's running, full first cast. Let's see what happens. So realistic, that lure. Amazing. Love it. Just love that action where it looks underwater. So I've never fished here before, not sure if there's any pike or indeed any fish whatsoever in here. But give it an hour or two and we'll definitely find out. Okay, nothing under the bridge, let's move on. Could have been hit number one. Ah, I just 
just had a bite. We got off. Yes. That was a pike. Connected with a bunch of weed. Ah, so there's pike in it. Great. That is very, very reassuring. What the heck was that? I don't know if you saw that. There's something down there. Let's go slightly closer. Yes, we've got one. There we are. There we are. Come on, please stay on, lad. Please stay on. There he is. That's not a bad fish. That is not a bad fish. There, he's nicely hooked. I think. Hopefully. Beautiful. That is a nice pike. Any state pounds, I reckon. Well, no scales, but we'll call it eight. Right down his gullet, look at that. It's a nice, nice fish. Beautiful. There you go, guys. Lovely pike here. First one from this location. Nice and nice and long. About 80, 85 centimeters. It was pretty heavy. No scales, but. Okay, guys, let's get this fish back. <coughs>
chuffed with that fish really chuffed <laughs> thought I was gonna have another blank today oh yes that's awesome that's really awesome maybe there's another one in the same place never know So pleased. So pleased. Oh shit. Did you see that? Oh shit, that was another one. Let's see if we'll come back. I don't believe it. Oh, God damn it, did you see that? it in two. So the tail's been bitten and the rattle, the glass rattle is shattered inside. I'm going to have to change that in a minute. I look I'm going to put a stinger on here as well because that's three, three fish in this now. I reckon they've all bitten the tail. Let's change the rattle and put a stinger on. I just whacked another kind of trailer hook on there. Just hopefully that'll and replace the rattle. I don't know if you can hear that. Right. Huh? Yeah, got one. Got one. Uh, probably about 85, something like that. Decent. Not too bad, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, probably about another, what was it, almost two. I'll probably go for another half an hour or so. And then head back, see if I can get that one I missed. <laughs> Alright, well, all the best, mate. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, God, did you see that? Ah, oh, Another one lost. Oh. Loads in here. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he's off again. 
Oh my god, I don't believe this. Oh, oh I thought I had him that time. Ah. Oh. Hard to tell, isn't it? Probably the same one twice, I reckon. I don't reckon he's coming back now, though. I think I'm going to replace that assist hook with a, um, a proper stinger. I thought I'd give this a go, but uh, since putting it on, I've lost two fish. Probably the same one, but... Two bites missed. Okay, so what I've done, uh, I've added that stinger, I uh, took it off another lure, a shallow rigged lure. Uh, so let's just stick that in there. Actually, it is barbed. Just stick that in there. Keep it up out of the way. Uh, just to hold it on, I <laughs> just used a piece of plastic tubing. Not the best, but I don't think it's going to come off. I think we'll be alright. Let's go. There we go. There we go, he's not good enough now. Please don't get off. That is not a bad fish. to see which hook got him. That is a pretty good fish. I'm pleased with that. That is a decent fish, man. Um, it was the main hook <laughs> after all that. Just move that um, leech, I think. Come here, you horrible little thing. Easy now, easy, 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 easy. Okay guys, here's fish number two, and it's a real beauty, probably, I'd say, a double figure. And one of these days, I'm definitely going to buy myself some scales. He's a very, very lively fish, he's got a lot of energy, he has not stopped thrashing about since I landed him. Here we go. Beautiful.
Okay, let's put this beauty back. Look at that. Fabulous. I paid uh, five pounds forty nine for my uh, Ricky the Roach. It's a fourteen centimeter single, um, and I would rate this as a really good value, actually, uh, especially if you compare it to similar lures on the market. Uh, five pounds forty nine. Uh, it's a, a really good quality, incredible quality, actually. A very very lifelike, um, really well made. Um, it's got a lovely soft texture uh, and I really think that when um, a pike bites down on that it's so similar to the texture of a real fish that it just doesn't want to let go and for that reason I'll give this uh, 9 out of 10 um, without any reservation at all. So yeah, 9 out of 10 for uh, value for money on Ricky the Roach. So overall, uh, we get 62.5 out of 70, which gives us 89%. So I ran that up to 90%, so that's 9 out of 10. Overall score is 9 out of 10 for Ricky the Roach, and uh, this lure comes extremely uh, recommended. Go and buy one, you won't regret it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll uh, see you on the next video.